Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, my dear students. How are you? I hope you are enjoying the best of health. I welcome you in my class that is English for grade 3. We are learning unit 7. Its title is Safety at Home. My dear fellow teachers, this lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation and worksheet links are given. You may click it, download it, follow it as it is or modify it for your convenience. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. Yes, my dear students, today under the title of grammar, formal and lexical aspect of language, we are going to learn use of apostrophe to show position. Before this in English for grade 2, you have learned about weak forms. Remember, how do we pronounce weak forms and how do we write weak forms? So, this weak form is made by putting apostrophe. Remember, I hope you remember. If not, you may watch this video lecture again. And we are going to learn further to recognize and use apostrophes to show positions. This is our today's SLO. Let's start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah mentions in Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 115, the east and the west belong to Allah. To whichever direction you turn, there is Allah's countenance. Allah is all embracing, all knowing. Yes, my dear students, what this beautiful verse is telling us. But wherever we are, Allah is there. Allah is watching us. So everything is Allah's under Allah's observation. That's why better there is no place in the world where we can hide from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the message of this verse. So whatever we are doing, Allah is watching us. Allah is all knowing. That's why better whatever we good we do, we, sh we are doing with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? So let's uh, start our lectures. And before that, you tell me what is apostrophe? Yesterday I taught you, I hope you remember the punctuation marks and I taught you about apostrophe. And where do we use apostrophe? So whatever you know about this punctuation mark, pause the video, tell to your teacher and then come back. Yes, my dear students, I hope you remember apostrophe is a mark like this and it's a punctuation mark and we use it like this. This is known as apostrophe S. We use apostrophe to show position. What does it mean? Ali's jacket. Now, whose jacket is this? Who is the owner of this jacket? Ali. How we are getting this apostrophe S is telling us like this jacket belongs to Ali. Right? Umar's dress. Okay? So, this dress, who is the owner of this dress? Umar, how we are getting it? Because this apostrophe S is Umar's dress. It's telling us the possession about this dress. Do you understand? This is how we use apostrophe to show the possession. Now, all of you open your book on page number 56. We are going to learn about it further. Apostrophe. We use an apostrophe to show possession and contraction. So, better this is an additional information. I'll tell you about contraction as well. Ali's jacket, as I told you, the jacket belongs to Ali. Umar's dress, the dress belongs to Umar. And I am in hurry. So this I am can be written as I am. As you have studied in grade 2, this is weak form. I am in hurry, right? So we can use apostrophe like this as well. There's a fly. I don't know. Right? So, this is how another use of apostrophe. This is additional information. So, today is our focus is how we use apostrophe to show possession. So, another way is how we show possession for plural nouns and names that is ending in S. As I told you, we use apostrophe S. But if there is plural, we know in plurals there is already S. And if there is a noun, a name which is ending on S, S is already there. So how will you show the possession of that noun? By putting apostrophe after S. Miss Sundar's car. So this apostrophe 
will come after as and it works the same. It shows the position. Whose car is this? Miss Sundas. Miss Sundas car. Do you understand? The girls, now already girls is plural, S is there. So after S we'll put a apostrophe, girls because there are more than one. So the girls bags. The boys team. Mrs. Harris house. Now you see this name already it's ending on S. So we need not to put another S. We'll just put a apostrophe after S to show its possession. Are you clear? So what is the thumb rule? Wherever a naming word is ending on S, we'll put a apostrophe after S to show its possession. And if it is not ending on S, we'll put a apostrophe and we'll place S. Simple. Are you clear? Okay, so let's practice it with a, through an activity. Divide the class into four groups. Give each group few sentences. Ask them to discuss within the group and put a post office to show possession. Okay, so they'll uh, speak the sentences by using a post office. So pause the video, enjoy this activity, and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. Now it's time to practice from your book, all of you. Open your book on page number 56, question number 11. Use of a apostrophe to show possession. Now, these are the nouns. You have to show their possession by using a apostrophe. So, pause the video, complete this task in your book, and then come back. Yes, my dear students, are you done with it? Good job. So, it's time for your homework. You will write five sentences using a apostrophe to show possessions. And here is a worksheet, my dear fellow teachers, this worksheet, lesson plan, PowerPoint presentation links are given. You may click it, download it, and kindly provide a printed worksheet to students for practice. So what we have learned today, we learned to recognize and use a apostrophe to show possession. Are we done with it? Yes, so that's it for today. Tomorrow I'll come again with a very interesting lesson. Till that time, keep learning, keep practicing. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you and Allah Hafiz.